The visit of the Senate President and the Speaker came exactly 19 days after they visited President Muhammadu Buhari on his return to the country from the United Kingdom. The lawmakers who arrived the villa separately were led into the President's office for a closed-door meeting which lasted for over an hour and a half. Speaking to journalists on their way out, they maintain that the relationship with the executive arm of government is cordial, adding that frictions are part of democratic systems. So Nigerians want to know, is the relationship between the executive and the legislature very cordial? It's cordial. It's cordial. You cannot examine it by one or two. That's the point I'm making. You cannot examine it based on NDDC or examine it based on EFCC. Or exam we have other issues. We have, as I said, we have ministerials that we're, we're, we're going to be working on. I'm sure the next one will soon work on. We have the budget that is more important. We have INEC, we have PIB. We have so many things. And I, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's a mixture of all that that you should guide us. And uh, don't let us um, over overheat on some of this. Because well, um, you may view it as crisis, but I don't look at it as crisis. You know, I have always said this, that as a government, our value will be in the problems that we solve. We can't be remembered for avoiding issues. We can't be remembered for running away from problems. It is only when we provide solutions to some of the things that you look at it as crisis, and some of us are looking at it as opportunity, to begin anew, that people will now remember us as having put in place enduring legacies. The Senate President who spoke on the suspension of Senator Ali Undome says he will convey the plea for pardon by the Borono State Governor to his fellow Senators. It's for us to always understand how Parliament works. I wish I had those powers. Those powers you give me, I wish I had them. You know, uh, President of the Senate or Speaker is first among equals. He was a presiding officer. But unfortunately, you know, the legislative arm is the youngest. People don't really own it. People give us these powers that we have. Uh, decisions that are taken in plenary is a decision of all. But I have a role to be able to convey the message. And I will convey the message of the visit of the, of the governor of, uh, of, of, of Bono. And the Senate is not one that uh, we... we we are all one family. Speaker Yakubu Dugara, who reacted on a planned protest against the National Assembly, be to hold Wednesday, says it is the beauty of democracy. So if they have grievances against the institution of the legislature, we will take it. You see, the point is that we should never run away from crisis. Crisis are always wonderful opportunities for us to begin anew, for us to set new boundaries, for us to begin to examine things in a new way. So we should welcome crisis. They are the engines that really propel, propel growth. The leaders of the National Assembly had to leave as the questions from State House journalists seems unending. The last time Senate President Bukola Saraki alongside Speaker Yakubu Dugara visited President Muhammadu Buhari, the relationship between the executive and the legislature worsened almost immediately. Let's hope that the sweet talks they've given to journalists here actually represent the views of the lawmakers in the National Assembly. From the Asurok Presidential Villa, I'm Ikharo Atta, ITV News, Abuja.